Today we will learn BFS or breath research. But we are not gonna do it the typical way using notes and sh Because what is a note? No one knows and no one cares. We will use something everybody likes. Smoking with people. Everybody likes people. Oh, you don't like people? Oh my god, you're so hipster. F you, we will use people. So this is me. I'm very handsome, right? So now imagine I have a girlfriend. I said imagine. But not only I have one girlfriend, I have two girlfriends. But girlfriend number one is also dating Peter and John and Michael and Andrew. You get it, right? She's a ho Girlfriend number two is dating Hannah. Michael is dating Shirley. And there you have it. Now we have a graph. Or how I also like to call it, a saliva cycle. So now let's pretend one person in this group would like to meet another one. For example, I would like to meet Lana. I mean, who doesn't? So how are we gonna do this? Oh, what if we use, I don't know, f***ing BFS? This is the way BFS works. We start from me. And I will ask all of my girlfriends one by one if they know Lana. We do this by adding them to a queue. So we go to the first person in the queue and we ask, hey girlfriend number one, do you know Lana? She would say, I don't know, but let me ask all of my boys. And we add the boys to the queue. And now we go to the next one in line and we ask, hey girlfriend number two, do you know Lana? And so on and so on until we reach Lana. Or we don't, which is very sad. And as you can see, we keep asking people level by level. That means we go broad. That's why it's called breath first search. And now that we understand it, let's go code it. I will assume that if you're watching this video, that means you're a noob. And because you're a noob, we're gonna use Java. So the first thing that we need is a graph class. And oh wow, we already have it. How wonderful. So we have an inner class called person. And each person has a name and a list of other persons that I would like to call booty calls. That list is the boyfriends and the girlfriends. And I, you get it, right? Now let's start working on BFS. So let's start creating the function that I will call can I meet? BFS and it takes as parameters just person one and person two that are the two people that would like to meet. This will return true if there is a possible way that person number one can meet person number two. So first we create a queue of persons that I will call next to ask and next I need a set of persons that I call ask. These sets keep tracking of all the people I have already asked, so I don't ask them again. And now we just add person number one to both of them. Now we gotta look within the queue. So while next to ask is not empty, we will get the first person in line that I will call just needy next to ask that remove. Now if needy is equal to person number two, that means we already found the other person. So we just return true. Otherwise, we need to keep searching. So first, we add this person to the set of people that we have already asked. So ask that add needy. And now we need to add to the queue this person's booty calls. So we do a for of person that we call booty in needy that booty calls. But we will only include that person in the queue if we haven't asked him already. So if ask doesn't contain booty then next to ask that add booty. If we have already asked all the people in the group, that means we didn't find the person and we just return false. And that's it, that's BFS. All right, now that you understood BFS and you also got um, horny, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe. And that's it, ciao.